my family consists of my husband and three little boys. They're all related. We were trying for a while. Thank God for like Lutheran children <laughs> and family services. Yeah. Um, thank God that they, they, you know, were able to provide us this yeah. to, to be, to still be parents. When I got the phone call about Jordan, eight days old, in the hospital, he needs to be picked up. So um, I called my husband <laughs> and I told him that, uh, are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? I was nervous too because I, I, we would be first time parents. Once we got him, it was like everything kind of clicked into place for me. And it felt natural and comfortable. Jordan was nonverbal until five yes. years old. Oh. After Nicholas came, that's <laughs> when Jordan started becoming verbal. And he started to formulate sense and almost like wanting to communicate with Nicholas. Mm -hmm. Even though like Nicholas was not telling like speaking in yeah, words, yeah. full words, Correct. they had their own like baby language. <laughs> <laughs> In the beginning, Lutheran Children and Family Services, mm -hmm. they teach you that um, please don't think that this child belongs to you. <laughs> don't yeah. think that. Don't come yeah. in thinking that. Yeah. Um, just basically come in thinking that you're there to provide them with a home, mm -hmm. a safe environment. Now, they said there are instances where you're able to adopt out of fostering, but they said primarily fostering is for, to, you know, to have the child in a safe environment. My first time meeting my kids, mother was with Jordan. Mm -hmm. And then my second time was with Nicholas. And I gave her a hug and she gave me a really tight hug. Um, it felt genuine. Mm -hmm. It felt like she really needed to be hugged. So she's like, and then she grabbed my hand and she said, I want to thank you. Um, I've been blessed for you to be in my life and take care of my family because I wouldn't I don't even know where they would be right now. Mm. So yeah, Jordan made this. Oh. <laughs> Leandra is like family. She's really truly dedicated to her job. She helped us out with placement. Like um she was she was the one that came to the house, you know, when we were when we got Jordan in the home and also with Nicholas. 2020 was a very rough year. The fire happened in December, two days before Christmas. Mm -hmm. My husband was getting ready to start work. Mm -hmm. I was still asleep. And I'm so glad that my kids were up. Usually Jordan is awake. He's the one that has the most energy. And then I heard him say, Bobby, Bobby, there's a fire in my bedroom. It was all black smoke. It burned through completely. Total loss. Yeah, total loss. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to rebuild. Lutheran children helped. Danica came through. She said, here is some gift cards for the for you and your children. Yeah. So that way we could get clothes and stuff like that. They helped us get the apartment that we uh, we got into before we moved here. We appreciate everything from, from day one. They helped us through the fostering. They helped us through the adoption. They helped us out a lot in this whole process. 2021 has been a year of joy because we were able to purchase our home and it, every, everything seems to be, you know, what was once a dark moment became, you know, a, a, a bright moment for us. I'm happy that I was able to be a mom, even if um, it wasn't in God's plan for me to actually have one of my own. My hopes for the future is to um, see my, my, my boys get older have children of their own and, and become, you know, become good parents and, and, and good, good, good citizens. There's a lot of children that need help. So it is very important to keep LCFS going. These children, they need a safe, loving environment. And there's so many of them. Help us help them yeah. grow to be great individuals.